Hi, it's Pamela. In this tutorial, we're going to use foreground layers to add depth in Toonly. Hey, and welcome to the official Doodly YouTube channel. If you enjoy our content, please click the like and subscribe button below. Now let's get straight to the video. Toonly is a type of flat animation where the elements don't exactly have a 3D look. To create an illusion of depth, we can add objects in the foreground that will appear closer to the camera than the other objects in the background. So in Toonly, we generally always have a background. So you'll see here, I have, I'm using the background labeled Elderly. And it is just an image. It does have little individual images, like when you first start it, they all kind of pop on a little and there is a little bit of movement. But we can't exactly control those images once that happens. We can't put something behind this bush, for example. So if I added, let's see if we have a bird or something. Let's go to objects. So this little bird can always only be in front of this bush. I can't make it go behind it. So if I try, if I go to background, I keep going, that's as far back as it goes. It never can go behind this background. Let's put her there for now. So why does that really matter? Well, it doesn't really, but if you want to add a little more depth to your scene, you could add some foreground elements. So let's do that. Let's just take a, one more look here. You see when the man comes in, since he's bouncing, it, it's not that big of a deal, but see how he has to kind of walk over this bush? We can't put him behind that bush, so that looks a little dumb. It's not that big a deal the way I have him coming in. I'm having him bounce in. So by the time he finishes his bounce, that doesn't really come into play. But had I had him just walking in instantly, you'll see he walks over the bush and I don't really like that look. So what can we do about it? Well, let's go to objects. And I'm going to type in bush. And I'm just going to add a bush in front here. Add my own bush instead of the one that's built into the background. Maybe do something like that. And now you notice that he's behind the bush and that looks as expected. So let's just go ahead and put the bush in our entire scene. And Right now it's going to bounce in and out and I don't want that. I just want it to be part of the scene. So definitely make an instant out. And I think instant in will be okay. Let's look since the um, background bounces in, we might want it to bounce in. Let's just have this guy come in a little later. Let's just see. Yeah, so let's go ahead and let him let it bounce in with everything else. So we'll do bounce. See how that looks. There. Okay, so we've added some depth to our scene. We could also add a tree. So I typed in tree. something like this with the tree and now we can fiddle with the bird and have the bird kind of hop in from behind here so we've got our bird and this is where I want the bird to end right so let's go ahead and mark that our keyframe so that's our ending spot with the bird let's make sure our tree stays on let's go back to our bird and we want the bird to begin somewhere else. So boom, we hit our keyframe at the beginning. And where do we want the bird? We want the bird to maybe start here, something like that. Bring the tree over. And let's just see how that's gonna work. So the bird's behind the tree and then the bird's popping up like so. Again, just I need to do a little housekeeping here. I'm going to change that to instant. Leave the bounce. 
and then let's have the third here and instant for both and let's just see how that's starting to look so he's walking behind and then i have the bird coming from behind and but that works okay i mean i might do something a little different with the bird but i think that gives you an idea of how you can create your own foreground that complements the background and then you would just have your characters and props interacting in between you could you could even have squirrels or something in front of the tree and bush as well so let's just see I'm just a little squirrel here and you can just pop on and I'm again I'm just doing housekeeping I don't like all these things just bouncing around all the time here That'll be cute. We'll just have a hand bring in the squirrel, like so. Let's have him looking the other way. And over here. Okay, we'll take one final look and then we'll be done. And there you have it. We've created a little bit of depth in our scene by adding foreground elements. I hope this gives you some ideas. Thank you for watching.